Howdy folks, it's Adriel the Hunting Gear Guy. This is the Nightcore NU33. It's a 700 lumen, 2000 milliamp hour battery inside headlamp. And uh, it's got some decent power, decent features uh, for a pretty reasonable price. So why don't we take a closer look at this thing? So these headlamps retail for right around 50 bucks. Uh, they're not quite as lightweight as their uh, NU25s and that kind of a thing, but they trade off a lot of that lightness for a more durable housing. Uh, more power and a lot more battery in here. With that 2000 milliamp hour battery, you're really not gonna have to recharge this thing nearly as often as like something like the NU25s. First, just because it's important for me, uh, right on the bottom here, IP66, so it is good for water and we do have a USB-C charging port on the bottom there, which should make it easy for, like that's kind of the way that we're going. So USB-C is great for future proofing. We have a mode and power button. So turning on that power button gets us to the light and then we can go mode to change what we're using. Uh, this center one here is a powerful spotlight uh, and you can crank up the power on it. My camera's auto adjusting for it as we go here. But there's that guy. I found I could get right around 100 meters of visibility in the snow in Canada. So keep that in mind. Uh, but it was uh, totally usable. That's not the one I used a lot though. Keeping in mind hunting, I was, I was tracking game or I was just like looking for like walking in front of me. The one I really liked was this uh, this flood lamp over here. You can see it's a little bit more yellow. So it's a, it's a little bit higher uh, CRI or, or color rendering index on it. Um, the colors looked great on it and uh, I used it on the high power mode most of the time. It gives us this really nice, nice cast and uh, very, very even lighting. Uh, just amazing, just like walking on trails uh, using this mode. Really, really liked it. And uh, I think that's that's the one I would use most of the time. I did switch a couple of times to the uh, to the spot to, uh, to give me a bit more distance. So uh, we were tracking a deer uh, into the evening. Uh, I was using the uh, flood just for, uh, for looking for uh, 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 blood splatter on the snow. And then I would swap over to this spot if I just wanted to check the immediate area to see if I could see a, a, a deer laid up somewhere. Uh, so I did use both of those, but primarily I spent most of my time on that uh, on that nice floody uh, side beam there. Um, just the, for what I do, I don't usually use a, a red light. Uh, this would be useful for someone if you're hiking and you wanted to maintain your night vision, but uh, not as much for me. Um, on that red light, we do have a couple of different modes there, so you can see that we can blink, uh, and, uh, oh, that's about it. Now, saying this thing is more durable, this front piece here is actually aluminum, so that's why we're going to get a lot more durability out of, uh, out of something like this. You can also see in, like, the style of the design, it is going to be a more durable, rugged headlamp. Uh, we do have a battery indicator on the side there, and if we press our mode really quickly, we can see how much battery. <laughs> I use this thing all week, and I'm still at three bars on this thing. Now, on the side here, we do have some reflective strips, so it's this, this is really hard to catch on camera, but these do... They don't fluoresce. They just catch the light really well. Uh, so you'll be able to see that. The adjustment on this thing I really liked. Very simple. Uh, all you do is just pull these things towards each, each other for a little bit more length or just pull them apart to uh, tighten it up. Super easy. Nice and tight and uh, no big knobs or anything like that to figure out. And if you want like a just a really ultra low power uh, light on here, just double press the power button and you get a nice ultra low um, light out of the uh, out of the side there. Now if you are going to throw this into a bag, you can lock it out uh, so that any, you know, intermittent presses won't uh, won't turn it on. So that's something you might want to consider if you're chucking it into a backpack. A couple things I like about the NU33, um, it's super easy to adjust. So if I needed to go tighter, I just pull these uh, these guys apart. If I needed to go looser, push them in. Super easy. Uh, we got nice, good adjustability on the head. I can point this thing really low. And overall, it's just a good, durable headlamp. Integrated battery. Those AAA headlamps are going to go away because these ones, like, they just have a lot more power, right? 2,000 milliamps. It's got an integrated battery pack. Charge it with USB-C. It's just going to be easier to keep this, something like this charged instead of trying to keep a bunch of AAAs around and then breaking them to the back of it to change the panel and put the new AAAs in. So, uh, anyways, that's the uh, NU33. Thanks for watching.